Welcome to Wikimania 2022 uh, and welcome to Esinolario and welcome back to Esinolario. We are in front of the Museum delle Grigne, one of the venue of uh, Wikimania 2016, but also the venue of this uh, festival edition. Uh, today what we wanted to do is to uh, show you how Esinolario changed uh, in the last uh, six years, but also allow you to visit uh, our museum, where you, can, you, where you will find uh, the new um, uh, museum design focused on uh, Wikimania uh, and also the legacy of this event. So a lot of things changed uh, in Esinolario in the last uh, six, year, six years. Um, for Wikimania, we uh, created uh, uh, and we installed uh, um, uh, spaces that allowed the conference to take place uh, in a little uh, mountain village. So the museum was uh, uh, reorganized uh, we moved from the old museum, uh, the, uh, all the collection, to the new museum. This is the building. The room that you can see in the back was closed uh, for the event, but also we changed a lot of other venues. Uh, Villa uh, Clotilde, which is uh, uh, here in the garden, uh, was uh, transformed, was improved uh, for safety, uh, for equipment. Uh, the primary school uh, had uh, better access for wheelchairs. The uh, sport hall uh, was created a um, safety exit uh, for the sport hall to allow an increased uh, number of participants to use uh, the space. And uh, the old museum became a space for association in Esinolario. The connectivity was uh, uh, improved for Wikimania 2016. And people are surprised to come back here in Esinolario and to find that uh, the Wi-Fi and the password still work. Uh, so all the venue uh, that are used for public interest are still uh, nicely connected and uh, they can use uh, the internet and facilitate uh, uh, the work online of all participants. Um, another aspect uh, that was uh, improved uh, thanks to, to Wikimania um, is also the participation and the mapping of the village. Uh, so on OpenStreetMap, uh, you can find an extremely detailed uh, um, in number of information about uh, the territory. Uh, you can find uh, on uh, Wikipedia, on the Wikimedia project, on Wikidata, uh, lots of information about the venue. And also, uh, Esinolario had promoted uh, the involvement of the entire region uh, in uh, improving uh, knowledge about heritage uh, online. Um, so Wikimania 2016 was an uh, incredible chance to boost uh, and to involve uh, a community in improving uh, uh, spaces, connectivity, uh, the capacity of the uh, village to be uh, contemporary and to be linked uh, to technology and uh, to Wikipedia, which obviously represents shared knowledge uh, and knowledge for all. The Museum of the Grenier is almost 100 years old, but it doesn't look like it. It owes a lot to Wikimania, of course, but not only, because even before the event, we decided to publish all the books with open license. That is, for example, the CC by SA and books such as The Newborn or previous studies about the territory. Wikimania was a great event for Isino. It was quite extraordinary and it is recalled with pleasure. The museum has decided to have a section about Wikimania, just like we have one about the fossils or the Celts, because it is now part of the history of the village. It left a great legacy. We have learned the importance of new languages and of technology, and the pupils of the village have learned to contribute to Wikidia, which is quite a good start. Easy Nolario seems to be highly isolated, actually in the middle of nowhere. And uh, when Wikipedians came in 2016, some of them complained and said that the journey was quite long. What they should know is that if they had come about a hundred years ago, they would have been invited to sit on this sledge and would have been taken to Ezino with a couple of mules. Soon after the event, the whole installation of the museum was renewed. All the captions were changed, made more friendly, even though highly scientific. This was 
tailored to the young and the old, to the experts and the curious ones. In 2017, just a year after Wikimania, we decided to organize storytelling for children. That is a series of tablets on which every child can choose a character. For example, in this case, we have Erika, the Wikipedian, who takes the kids through all the uh, sections of the museum and makes them discover the story of the area with games and quizzes. This is a way to develop their curiosity and also their independence. In 2018, we decided to complete the section about the 1,000 and more caves of the Grenia. The touch screen you can see actually shows the geological areas, everything about the formation of the mountains, and allows you to visit the inside of one of the caves of the area. It also shows the sea creatures that inhabited the area about 250 million years ago, which leads us to the section of the fossils, which is one of the important collections of the museum. Voluntary research carried out by university students has been encouraged to and has produced studies such as Iron in Asino at the time of the Celts, which confirmed the local production of all the weapons on display. Visitors want to touch the items. It is not always possible. Therefore, we have asked to produce uh, copies of the former weapons. In this case, it is an iron uh, sword with its shield. Some more technology and arts. In this case, the tree of the community, which we call the talking tree, tells the story of life in the past through the voices of the elders of the village who talked about life in the past, the roads, the woods, the work they had to do, and all this is to keep the memory of life in the past. The museum has a new project, which is called In and Out, in the heart of the Grinia. Actually, it aims at bringing the museum into the Grinia, into the mountain, and the mountain into the museum. If you come next year, you will have the pleasure of seeing the new project. Okay, da Esino, saluti da Esino Lario e thank you for tutto. <laughs> ciao, grazie. Ciao, ciao. ciao alla prossima. <laughs>
and we would like to keep it going in the future. Um, Wikimania is an event, is our community event, but it's also um, an opportunity in many other ways. Uh, all the infrastructure change that were made in Esinolario were actually financed by local grants and by volunteer work. It was an opportunity, the fact of uh, gaining the, this visibility, um, but it was also an effort that the community did uh, to take advantage of it. And uh, I really hope uh, that this is a legacy that all Wikimania in the future can take. So not only uh, hosting a beautiful event, not only hosting uh, interesting conferences and exchanges and meetings and opportunities for us to work together, but also uh, making sure that uh, what we bring to communities, to countries, is uh, something that can uh, remain uh, with us. So I'm very glad uh, that we had uh, this opportunity to uh, recall uh, this adventure, to bring it back to Esinolario this year again, to have also the pleasure to gather. Uh, so thanks for this opportunity. And uh, we will meet soon uh, next year for another Wikimania. Thank <laughs> you.